How do you know when your soul is ready to experience something in your life, a new chapter, a major life event, a major turning point, whether it is a new relationship, marriage, the ending of a relationship, the birth of a child, a big career milestone, a relocation, anything, even something not so happy like a health crisis or a big loss in your life, a difficult time financially. Any and all and even more of these life events are shown to you through astrological cycles. And this is one of the great strengths of astrology is prediction. And so today I'm gonna to talk briefly about a method of prediction called progressions, because the difference between progressions and other methods of predictive analysis is that progressions begin on the inside. They signal your internal readiness on a soul level to experience a life event. And when certain progressions are triggered by contact to your natal chart, then the event is likely to manifest into the outer world. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples to bring this home and have it be illustrated. And uh, before I do that, I do want to introduce myself for those of you who may not know me. My name is Maria G. Simone. I am a professional astrologer, and you can find out more about me and my work at insightfulastrology.com, where I offer personal consultations, and I have an entire astrology school with classes ranging from the beginner's level all the way through advanced to professional. Now, I am opening a class right now for progressions. So very quickly, I want to tell you about that class. If you already understand astrology up to the level of aspect analysis, and if you have already studied transits, then you are ready to study progressions. All of my classes are done via Zoom, and so if you can't attend live, don't worry, you will get the recording. I offer a personalized learning experience in all of my classes. So for the progressions class, you will all get to give me a date, exact date of a major life event from your past. And you will get to see if there are any relevant progressions. And of course, we'll also look at the transits that occurred at the time of that event. We are also going to learn every single part of secondary progressions, how to use them, how to work with them from really digging into the progressed moon, the progressed planetary changes that are important in a person's lifetime, the progressed lunation cycle. We are gonna study that. You're gonna learn how to use it and so much more. This is a class where you get personalized homework assignments, unlimited email support from me while I'm your instructor and the early bird registration rate, which is only available until April 30th will save you $50 off of tuition. So this class will begin on the registration actually ends May 10th. The class begins May 18th at 11 a.m. Eastern time. That's a Saturday. And it runs for four consecutive Saturdays. And uh, again, all classes are recorded. So if this is a class that you think you're interested in, I highly recommend you grab a spot now while it's available because my classes run in cycles. I go in order from beginners throughout my curriculum. So I will not be offering a progressions class again until I finish all of my courses and get back up to the level of progression. That could take anywhere from seven, eight months to a year, depending on my class sizes and what else is going on with my students. So now let's get into some real life examples. I'm going to be using my birth chart to symbolize uh, two major life events that occurred in my past. And the progressions are so compelling. You just can't miss it. You just can't ignore it. And you're all going to learn how to do this for yourself, for your own birth chart and for anybody else's birth chart. So let me share my screen and pull up my birth chart. And we're going to look at two major life events. The first life event occurred on November 2nd, 1997, which was the date that I got married. This is my birth chart. Now on my birth certificate, it does say 4.50 a.m., but over time I have played around with the time. Understanding progressions and solar arc directions allows you to rectify a chart and really fine tune it. And that based on some other factors 
have, it's led me to, to lean more towards a 448 birth chart, but we're splitting hairs here. 448, 450 isn't much of a difference, but for the purposes of this video, I am gonna use my 448 rectified time. Okay, so here is my birth chart, Placidus house system. That is the house system I recommend using when you are uh, learning with me. And that is because of the sensitivity of all the house cusps. And in the progressions class, I will actually demonstrate this very clearly when we track the progressed moon through all of the houses. So indulge me and experiment with working with the Placidus or another quadrant house system while you are a student of mine. Now, that is my birth chart. We're gonna now look at the standalone chart for the day I got married. And you may not notice much at first, but once I do a bi wheel, you will see it, okay? So this is what the standalone progress chart looks like the day I got married. A Couple of things that you might notice is that Venus has just recently changed signs. And if you were paying attention to my birth chart, you'll notice that Venus is the significator of my seventh house but it is the significator of love and marriage for everybody. Now, Venus, you'll learn in the progressions class, changes signs about three times in a person's life, sometimes four if you, if you live long enough. So this is quite a significant event to occur in anybody's life. And that became a major pattern when I got married. So now let's look at the by wheel for the marriage. On the outer wheel, you will see the progressions. On the inner wheel, you will see my birth chart. Look at the magnificent progressions here. First of all, the secondary progressed moon, you will learn, becomes a key indicator in helping to refine your timing because of the speed of the secondary progressed moon. Now look at this. When I got married, my secondary progressed moon was conjunct my seventh house cusp and my natal Uranus placement, which is on my seventh house cusp. That is a huge indicator for a big transition in a relationship. By itself, it could be a marriage or a divorce or an engagement or a turning point in an existing relationship, but you don't know until you study everything else. By itself, that is a really big positive timing indicator for transition in relationship. Next, we have that progressed Venus did recently change signs, very significant. Now look at my progressed sun. Here it is at 10 degrees Gemini. Why is that significant? Well, it is engaged in an opposition to my natal moon at 10 degrees, 51 minutes. So the sun and moon are connected here by progression, very significant energy. And finally, we see that secondary progressed Mercury and Saturn are square natal Venus. And that is symbolizing the significance of a serious relationship. Okay, so natally, I have Venus square Saturn, you see that there? Um, I don't know if you could see it. Let me let me just show this to you. Again, so natally, in my birth chart, I was born with Venus square Saturn. Well, look at the degrees at the time that I got married. We have a trigger here. We have a big trigger. Saturn is within uh, a little bit more than a half a degree of that square separating from exactitude with Saturn, with Venus. So during the time period that it was exact, I would have gotten engaged. Now I am getting married as it is moving away. Very, very significant progressions, guys. And you will learn how to see all of this for yourself. Now let's go and look at the second major event. This is a uh, the time that I bought my first home. So years later, I was divorced, and uh, by the time I got to 2019, I was ready to buy my own home. And again, there is my standalone chart, and here is the standalone chart for the day I closed on my home, okay? So this wasn't when I moved in, it was the day of the closing, when I actually bought the house. So you may not notice much just looking at the stands alone, but once we put the by wheel up, you are going to see uh, quite a lot of information that's really going to be impressive. So here, now we are looking at the outer wheel is when uh, the progressions for when I bought my home. The inner wheel is my birth chart. 
most notably, right away, where is that progressed moon? It's in the fourth house. So the progressed moon is moving through the fourth house natally. But look at this angular placement. By progression, my Mercury had gone retrograde and Mercury is conjunct my natal fourth house cusp, symbolizing the contract, literally the real estate contract. And what is that progressed Mercury also doing in my natal chart? It is making a beautiful trine to my natal Jupiter, showing that this was a very important and positive legal contract uh, connected to home ownership for me. Now, another progression that was highly active and very significant is that my progressed son had just recently changed signs. And you will also learn in my progressions class that the progressed son will change, your, change signs approximately three times in a person's life. And that is a major year, year and a half of your life to pay attention to because so much about your solar energy and vitality uh, and life purpose is shifting during that time period. So here, my progressed son entered cancer, home, family matters, domestic, real estate, literally. And the focus most certainly was on home ownership, moving, buying a house. And that was a very significant time for me because up until that point, I had lived in my marital home for over 21 years. It was almost 22 years by then. So it's not like I move very often and it really showed as a progressed cycle of that internal readiness to buy my house and to experience the relocation. And it was quite a positive event. So I hope this video shows you the power of studying progressions and working with progressions. We didn't even add on the transit. And in my class, you're going to be doing that. I'm going to help you learn how to organize your measurements with transits and progressions. I'm going to help you learn how to apply the rule of three in order to make accurate ethical predictions for yourself and for your clients. And again, the progressed cycles will help you refine the timing of when a major event may likely occur. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next progressions class. Don't forget, if you want that $50 savings, you must register no later than April 30th for this class. All right, take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.